Time to play with some play. The other night while I was waiting for uh, the uh, couple to come pick me up to take me to dinner at the Blue Moon Saloon in Cameron, uh, south of here, um, I worked a little bit on the uh, other side of his head and uh, put the uh, scalp lock on the back of his head. And I'm sorry you missed that, but uh, I needed to keep myself busy because I thought they were coming by here first. And they didn't. They went to the restaurant and I had to hurry up and get down there because I was uh, late getting there. <laughs> anyway, I'll work more on the face and that at the end. I think what I'm going to do today is uh, work on the hat. And this is his hat that he wore. He also didn't braid his hair all the time. He had short hair and the fur wrapped hair extended almost down to his waist and uh, it just made it look like he had long hair but he didn't really have long hair. He had but butterfly wings on his uh, cap and I would think that there would probably be four wings, not the full body of the butterfly, just uh, the wings. I'm not sure how he had them attached uh, because, you know, butterfly wings are extremely delicate. But uh, I'm thinking four wings for the four directions. Anyway, that uh, gives me, and it has a tall crown. And uh, so I'm going to attempt to reproduce that blew up the uh, size of just a hat so I could uh, go by that. I also found a better detailed photograph of his uh, face which that actually shows more of the uh, detail of his skin and uh, the bottom of his uh, eyes and stuff like that so that was that's going to help me to uh, work on his features just a little bit more when I get back to it. First thing I want to do is uh, get the uh, crown going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the clay right there at the edge of the uh, hat or the uh, outline that I made. You don't want to do a hat that's not on the head and make it look like it uh, was too small for his head. So that's why I went to this extent of uh, figuring out the size of his head. I'm not sure if it was a ten, uh, Stetson or what brand the hat was. I would think Stetson because he had the money to buy the best and I would think that he probably would have. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the uh, board. Yeah, I can see where I need to increase the uh, size of the uh, back of the hat because it's uh, sloping. Now the brim wasn't all that wide. It looks like it was about a th three inch brim. I did a search on uh, Google for photos of uh, his hat alone but there is, are none. I'm, I don't even know if the hat is even in a museum any place. Probably got buried with him. What I'll do now is I'll get this ready to go 
and I'm going to get some folder material to make the armature for the uh, rim. The best material I've found for uh, making hacked brims out of is uh, folder material. It's kind of got a waxy coating or some kind of coating on the uh, paper and it's stiff enough that it holds its shape really well. You can also use uh, the metal bar that goes through the top of the uh, folder as a straight edge for cutting on clay. And I'm going to save that. I'm going to cut off the uh, unnecessary parts. Now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, draw an outline for the hat. I'm going to put that brush out of the way, scissors out of the way. Now I take my calipers. There we go. And I'm going to go out just about the width I think this hat rim would have been. About right there. And uh, just draw little dots all the way around. All I do now is just add clay to it. I'll come back when I have this pretty well clayed up. Yeah, I've left me enough clay on the, uh, I mean, I've left room to expand my clay a little bit. So I'm going to put clay on the other side now. For this to work, you have to have clay on both sides of the uh, folder material. All right, now I got clay on both sides. And I'm going to even out the surface a little bit with a wide and large wire tool. Now I'm going to put the brim back on, I mean the uh, crown on. And to make sure my crown stays on. Ah, what did I do with my, there we go. I'm going to screw it in onto the uh, brim armature and in place. So it doesn't go drifting. Now it's not like now it's not like uh, putting this into wood, but it holds the brim on the uh, crown. All right, using my fingers, I'm going to roll the, the hat brim up. Just ever so slightly, I'm going to try to mimic what I see in the photograph. This is the front of the, the brim that's going to have the uh, butterfly wings on it, so I'm going to mark it right there. 
I'll add those on Monday. So I'm just uh, putting a slight roll. It wasn't a flat brim, but it was uh, not done up like a uh, cowboy. Of course, a lot of cowboys wore them flat too. I've got some shaping to do, and I'll do that once it's on the uh, figure. So there we go with the uh, the hat. All right, let's see what it looks like with the uh, hat attached. I'm not going to attach it now, but I will at some point in the future. And it works from every angle, so. It's going to be good, but I'm not, not going to put the hat on until I put the robe on. And this is what I'm thinking about the robe. If I can find the picture I got printed out today. There it is. Here's a, a photograph that I took off the web. And uh, it shows him wearing a fur-lined leather shirt and I'm going to do a little more research on that shirt I, I think there's some good pictures of it but the, the robe is over his right shoulder and I like that and I'm going to have this arm up here with the uh, hat going over the uh, uh, top of the uh, robe I was doing a wrap a, a scarf around his neck but I think I'm going to change that one to uh, a shirt has just a little bit more interest and adds just a little more to the design. All right, everybody. That's it for tonight. See you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time